I would like to introduce you to the first working 3D printer mousetrap ever. The Tilt and Trap was designed and tested in SolidWorks 2010 by Mark Fuller. This model was then printed over 900 miles away on a U-print bi-dimension 3D printer by Dr. Eric K. Albert at Pennsylvania College of Technology to demonstrate rapid prototyping to his students. Tilt and Trout Mousetrap was designed for an online contest by Cathal Garvey because he had an elusive mouse that he could not catch. The mouse was too smart for all traditional devices, so Cathal looked to 3D designers for inspiration. This contest is also co-sponsored by MakerBot Industries, the home of the Cupcake CNC. The rules to this contest are very simple. The device cannot harm the mouse must be printable on the MakerBot, and it must work. The Tilt and Trap is a very simple design that can be printed on any 3D printer. There are no overhangs to worry, worry about, and when complete, it is easy to assemble and fine-tune, as I'll demonstrate. Here's how the Tilt and Trap works. You add peanut butter to the back of the device, back here. You actually have to get a knife and go down and try to put it in this back corner because that will actually give you the best fulcrum point to tilt over the trap. Then, lay down the trap next to a wall. Ooh, see it almost fell over right there. <laughs> but, you lay it down next to a wall. I'm going to use this wooden box to simulate a wall. On the back of the trap, there are actually rare earth magnets. These rare earth magnets are connected to the magnets inside of the trap, which you might be able to see. They actually are used to calibrate the device. You move them more to the right to make it trigger sooner, and you make it move more to the left to make it trigger later. Um, this all depends on your, your printer, the type of plastic you're using, and some other factors. So it's better to use these magnets and actually finite tune it than actually just printing out one that's already done. So, so you got to kind of play with these magnets to find a good a good tipping point. So here I'll demonstrate how the mouse trap works now. I do not have a mouse with me right now, so I'm going to use this little recreation. The mouse will walk up to the trap. Hmm, everything looks good inside. And it'll actually walk right inside to go for the peanut butter. When he gets over halfway in, he's actually going to start to go on a little incline and this is actually the fulcrum point, about right here. You can look at my pictures on Thingiverse to see where the fulcrum point actually is that I modeled in SolidWorks. But when he gets up to here, the peanut butter, it actually causes the mouse trap to roll and the door to slam closed. The doors use rare earth magnets on either side to lock it in place. It is a very, very strong hold. no mouse is getting out of there. But, um, well, the, here's my device, and if you got anything else, uh, I'll post the website right down here, or this way, and you guys can check out uh, how to make it, the STL files, and, and everything else. But, uh, thank you for coming, and uh, seeing my video, and I hope, uh, hope to hear from you guys soon. Bye.